I look like I'm born in the 80s. What is this hair? Oh well, it's gonna have to do. Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm here today with a video that I've seen floating around YouTube called the quick fire assumptions tag. So what you do is you head over to your Instagram, ask people to assume stuff about you, which is exactly what I've done. And I'm gonna set a timer for 10 minutes and then go through as many as I can and give you answers. So the main feature of this tag is that it is unedited. So I'm going to try my best to not edit it, but if I literally spend 10 minutes thinking of an answer to a question, then that's gonna be super boring. <laughs> So I'm going to set a timer for 10 minutes. Okay, so I've got my timer ready for 10 minutes. Start and first question is that you have a type. Um, I'd say yes, like when I used to be on Tinder, like I'd always swipe the same kind of boys, but I've only had one boyfriend, so it's hard saying that I have a type when I only have one boyfriend. But um, obviously there's boys that you like and boys that you don't like. <laughs> Um, that you love pastel colours, yes I do. That you've never been cheated on. Well, like I said, I've had one boyfriend, so I hope not. Not that I know of anyway. You did not like math as a school subject. Wrong, I actually did quite like maths. I quite liked how there was a wrong and a right, like with art is kind of subjective, so maths is either wrong or right. And I really liked that, I was also in top set, but I got a B, so whatever. I'm a vegetarian, no I'm not. You're confident and you struggle a bit with the way your double chin is. Um, no, not really, like if I, this is what I look like normally, but obviously I'm trying to have good posture, but it doesn't really um, make me not confident. You're a pad wearer over tampons, I am indeed. I've had more than one boyfriend in my lifespan, no. I lost my V at 16. I don't think so. Actually, yeah, I might have. I would date a girl. I don't think I would, you know, like I have so much appreciation for women, like girls are just incredible, but I just don't swing that way. Um, that I would be a really good friend. That is actually really sweet. I think I'm a good friend. <laughs> Um, you preferred paid collabs to gifted collabs. Well, obviously you can't pay for a phone with gifted clothes, can you? So paid collaborations are much better than gifted collaborations. If I could live anywhere on the earth, it would definitely be the UK. Um, I'd say so, yeah, I quite like where I live because it's near everything. And the UK, the temperature's quite nice, I don't know. I love cats, I do. I dislike Boris Johnson. Don't really have an opinion. Gotta live with what we've got. You get jealous of other influencers when they get more collabs than you. <sighs> I don't know about this one, you know, because obviously when you see people that are working hard and they're getting the collabs, I'm like, yes, girl, get it. But then on the other hand, I'm like, oh, it would have been nice if I could get that collab, but I think I'm a very jealous person, but the being proud of my friends outweighs that completely because I just love seeing girls succeed, like girls that I've watched grow. Oh, it makes my heart warm. Oh. Um, next one, I'm a loyal friend. I'd like to think so, girl code. I'm wild in the bedroom, definitely not. Plain Jane, I am. You're, <laughs> you're a proper popular girl that everyone just knows. I don't know, how do you like, how do you judge popularity these days? I don't really know, like I know quite a few people by name but I don't know them in person, I don't know. Um, I'm super confident and don't have any. I'm super confident and don't have many insecurities. Nope, I have a lot of insecurities. You'd be a mess without me. Jess, I would be a mess without you. <laughs> um, 
I like a good gossip. I actually do. They said, you don't give that vibe, just thought it would be a funny question. I actually love a gossip. Like, if you tell me something about someone, I'm like, oh my God, I never expected that. Like, me and my friends, we just love finding out drama, but never like getting involved, because that is not fun. But I love a bit of gossip, who doesn't? Everyone's nosy. Everyone wants to know about everyone else's life, so of course I'm a gossip. That I love a messy night out. Definitely not. I would much prefer having a night in than a night out. Another one, you worked hard at school and college. Um, I'd say so, yes. I am working much harder now than I did through school and college because I feel like a degree is more important than A-levels and GCSEs. So if I reach my peak now, I can try my hardest and hopefully achieve the best. Um, you struggled for a long time with body positivity true it's definitely not something that you can just be like oh i'm body positive today done the rest of your life you're just confident as ever but no you're shy at first but bubbly when you get to know someone very true um you have more than four figures in your bank account no definitely not Actually, it depends what bank account you mean. Like I have a few different ones like savings, normal, student, my student account, loving life. <laughs> um, you secretly wish you had a boyfriend. Definitely not, girl power. I'm a strong, independent woman. I do not need a boyfriend. Um, I still live with my family. Yes, I do. I am a friend that would be dared to do something and gladly do it for the lols. I 100% would. You know what, life's too short, why not just get on with it? If someone says, oh, I'll go up and talk to that person, I'll be like, right then, what have I got to lose? <laughs> I'm slow to open up to people, true, because I feel like I've opened up to many, many people in my time, and obviously that can not be the best thing when people, you don't know their intentions so I would prefer to stay closed book and then keep my closest friends informed. I prefer Chinese over Indian food. True, I'm not the biggest fan of curry. I love Chinese food. I'm clumsy. Yes, definitely. I actually fell over yesterday. Like I just stood up and then fell over. Really weird. Um, my life is better without a man. Yes, it is. Girl power. Hose over bros ovaries before braveries definitely prefer girl power over man power <laughs> um oh this one's quite interesting that i never meant to be an influencer that it just fell into my lap hell no this did not fall into my lap i have worked so hard on my instagram and now this youtube thing um it's definitely not something that falls into your lap but i didn't have the intention of um like for it to be as big as it is but pat myself on the back i do work very hard for this it's not something that you can just fall into oh my favorite vegetable is either peppers or onions no it's a pea i love peas um this is quite sweet when you started your instagram you never expected the following you've got now which is true but obviously, like I said, I've worked very hard and it's nice to be recognised. Um, your body count is under five. Yes. I don't share a lot of private information on Instagram and social media. Well, the way I see it is my private life's private. Starred by Chloe is what I'm trying to do as a job. So they're two different things and I don't see why I should have to mix them. <laughs> Um, posting content is stressful for you, 100%. When I have posts, like ads and whatever, it is so stressful, but honestly, I wouldn't change it for anything in the world. Um, next one, you would pick pizza over pasta, 100%. I'm a pizza lover, through and through. Fun fact, I didn't actually eat pasta probably up until three years ago like i had it so much when i was a child and then i completely went off of it 
from like literally my whole teenage years and now I can't get enough of the stuff. You have a resting bitch face. True. That's my normal face and it's been many a time by an employer, by a friend, by someone that I don't know that I've been told that I've got a resting bitch face, which is lovely to hear. That you've earned more than 3,000 for an Instagram post. Wrong. You would rather a night in than a night out. True. I love a night in. There's nothing better than having a night in with friends. You get takeaway and you can... Oh, timer! Okay, I think that is all of them. So thank you to everyone on Instagram that asked me all of the questions. I loved you all so much. My Instagram, I'll pop it up on the screen here. Um, if you want to follow me, follow me. I hope you learned something about me that you didn't know because I feel like you were all pretty nice with your assumptions. Like you could have been super savage. So thanks for that, not exposing me on the internet, which I really appreciate. So it would really help me out if you gave this video a like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram. And if you like this sort of video, comment down below. I think I might have a couple of hauls coming later on next week. So keep your eyes peeled for that and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.